Watch. Jared Leto talks Morbius. No drama here. On April 3rd, Daily Show host Trevor Noah opened the 2022 Grammys with a monologue that touched on a variety of topics, including the biggest songs of the year and the return of award shows following coronavirus. Noah's opening remarks were certainly highly anticipated, as many wondered if he would address the Will Smith Chris Rock debacle from last week's 2022 Oscars or Kanye Ye West, the rapper who called the comedian a slur in a March social media post, which has since been deleted. And while Noah totally left West out of his first speech of the night, he did sneak in a slight dig at the now infamous Oscars slap. Specifically, as his monologue neared the end, Noah advised viewers to not think of the Grammys as an awards show, adding, this is a concert where we are giving out awards, we will be listening to music, we're going to be dancing, we're going to be singing, we're going to be keeping people's names out of our mouths and we are going to be giving out awards all throughout the night. Of course, Noah was subtly referring to the Oscars moment where Smith slapped Rock and then instructed him to keep my wife's name out of your F king. Mouth after a joke was made at the expense of Jada Pinkett Smith's short hairstyle. Jada has previously opened up about her struggle with alopecia in the Smith later apologized for his actions. And while that Oscars moment continues to make headlines, Noah chose to focus on other topics for the majority of his monologue. It's been a long time coming, and it has been delayed, but we are officially here, Noah said at the top of his speech. Better late than never? And look at this room, this is a party. Everyone's hanging out, we've got the tables. We're in Vegas. Look at this, people are doing shots. I mean, last year people we're doing shots but it was more Moderna and and Pfizer, this time we're back in the mix. He went on to playfully roast some of the big names in the room, including Justin Bieber, who he said was the best thing to happen to Peaches since that Timothy Chalamet movie. Well, he's not wrong, 